Right, question 9 is on the screen now. We have a circle. Let's just go a bit close to, to see. We have a circle first and then it is extended and then we got a triangle but we don't care about that now please. Right. Let's just concentrate on the circle that is given to us. Uh, we have a cyclic quadrilateral that's ABDE cyclic quadrilateral then AD and BE of course are joined there <coughs> right then uh, you got two equal marks please so just be careful that that's going to be isosceles triangle right now <coughs> what do we need to do in this in this case we are finding X Y Z and K and M right so let's see let's attack the isosceles triangle first okay let's go for isosceles triangle the top angle is 50 there this is isosceles triangle watch that so you ignore this line this line is not there like do you agree those two angles should be equal those two angles must be equal right that and that the top angle is 50 how do you get that it's a triangle please right some of the three angles 180 so take away 50 please from 180 you're left with 130 right 130 <coughs> divided into two equal parts so that should be a 65 yes or no that's a 65 please so angle x is 65 i'm looking at angle e completely that complete angle should be 65 right this is a 20 the small angle there is 20 what do you think of the other angle there come on together it's a 65 and this is 20 so that should be a 45 all right so we found two angles please watch that that 45 is only this much okay only that much please and then you got 20 below there right so we are happy we just got two angles now uh, back to circle geometry we need to apply those rules now please right uh, do you see angles in the same segment do you see angles in the same segment or angle formed by this chord watch the chord carefully ED is making two angles on the circumference ED makes an angle there which is 50 the same ED is making another angle here please the Y do you agree Y should be 50 right so let's write there it's a 50 angle Y is 50 okay just work, work it slowly right that's a 50 it's a 50 the concept that we applied was angles in the same segment the reasons you got to know please right now let us turn it like this turn the picture like that so now we have AE as the chord AE as the chord right is this chord making two angles or not just check please right it should be making two angles there check once right so I'm interested in the chord AE now AE is making two angles one is the Z well this tiny angle there is Z please okay AE makes an angle Z the same AE is making another angle on the circumference which is uh, which is X and which is 65 so do you agree those two should be equal so that angle there should be 65 now right so those two equal <clears throat> fantastic we, we turn it like this to to see is there any other angle we need to find a B is the is the chord now a B makes an angle which is 45 here same AB makes an angle which is unknown well not necessary they didn't ask us to find if they want us to find this angle it should be 45 all right that should be 45 please okay now let's just stop there let's stop there and turn this way to see is there anything that we we can do BD BD makes two angles again one is the 20 there another one at this tiny angle that also can be 20 if you want you can take that down as 20 well they didn't ask us to find but we are we are just uh, trying to fill all the blanks there 
So we got all the values. We turn back and then see what else we should go for. We got Z value, we got Y value, we got X value. Now we are looking at K and M. Right. It's a cyclic quadrilateral now. Think about it. One side is extended. One side is extended. What do you call this angle, sir? Come on. Exterior angle, right? Exterior angle equals to what? <clears throat> Jump inside. Look at the opposite angle. That should be the same value there, right? So this angle is, it's a 50. And please watch that 20, unwanted. But we went and found that angle. So 50 plus 20 is 70. So do you agree M should be a 70? Right? That's how you got to do. Right. Now, let's look at the K now. K, please. Right? K also is exterior. Watch there. K is exterior angle. That's the exterior because one side is extended. All right? So that's the exterior angle. Now, how do you find this angle now? <clears throat> exterior angle equals to interior opposite angle right so you come inside and look at the opposite angle which is not 45 be careful that's a 45 plus the 20 here so together it's a 65 please so the value of k should be 65 so that comes to 65 right so this is how you you apply all the rules uh, in one sum you know tell me what are the rules that we applied here we got the concept of isosceles triangle base angles the same then we went for angles in the same segment that's how we got that 50 there then we also looked at exterior angle of the cyclic quadrilateral so three four five rules we applied in one question happy right now <coughs> question 10 please uh, let's go a, a bit slow, right? It's question 10, but the 10 seems to be very easy, right? Question 10 seems to be very, very easy. Those who did this, you can just check your answers, right? There it goes, question 10 on the screen, right? Uh, do we have a cyclic quadrilateral? Check. Well, that's a cyclic quadrilateral, please. That's a cyclic quadrilateral. They didn't ask us to find this angle. They did not ask us to find this angle also. We just need a B. Come on, that's very easy, right? It's a 95. We need to add those two to get 180, right? 95, add a 5, 100 there. So do you agree that should be 85, right? Small sum it is. Come, come on, right? That's 85. So B is 85. What about that red triangle there? We can see the equal marks. Once you look at that, you got to know that's an isosceles triangle. What do you think of those two angles at the bottom there? Those two angles, that angle there and that angle there, those two should be equal, right? Now, the top is 130. Together, they become 180. So, take away 130 from 180. You are left with 50. Divide into two equal parts, you know the answer is 25. Both should be 25, right? Okay, well, we don't really need to find any other angles in this in this case. So, well, you can fill those uh, blanks, right? Uh, we got B as 85 and A as 25. Not bad, not bad. That's, that's an easy question. So, let's look at question 11.